Hi everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. It's Kerry with Kerry's Crafts. Um, just wanted to do a little project share. I recently made this shadow box for a friend of mine um, for a wedding gift. And well, I was able to get really creative with the Lindy's sprays, which I've used sparingly before, but actually I got um, to really use them and see how amazing they really are. So this is what I came up with. Um, I used a lot of lace that um, somebody gave me and gessoed everything. I used a lot of Tim Holtz pieces like the weathered clock um, the keyhole, these um, hinges, um, also the hanging sign. Um, I also used, um, as well as the sprays from Linda's, I used the embossing powders, which are amazing. I, they really are um, one of the best embossing powders I've used. I also used a couple of wood pieces from Fernley Designs. Um, I'll put all the items and everything that I used in the description box below. So, um, like I say, it's just I kind of went crazy with everything. Um, her favourite colour is green, his favourite colour is blue, so I kind of tried to merge the two colours together and then give him a natural, a neutral colour. So I kind of went with like antique brown. Um, but I used um, like pearls, I did some masking, um, flowers, some of them are recollections, some of them are um, prima and a couple of the flowers are actually um, wild orchid crafts. Um, also I used the bottle top from a um, Chambord liqueur bottle uh, which I was able to kind of make it a little statement piece um, his name is Glenn, her name is Jamie so I did that everything that I kind of altered I gessoed first and then coloured uh, I used um, the Distress Inks by Tim Holtz um, a lot of um, cool stuff and then the oh not the stickles the um, liquid pearls to kind of um, accent that also used an old kitchen drawer handle uh, I used a patina by deco art um, to get this effect and then I used a crackle um, a clear crackle over the top a little bit of black seam bind in there I'm going to turn it round now and show you kind of the back if I'm in frame so again um, a lot of the um, oh, what do you call it <laughs> I'm sorry I'm having one of those days um, the stencils with the modeling paste that's what I did on here. Um, I also used a lot of the gears um, from, I believe some of them were Fernley Designs, and then some of them were, I got them at Michael's, I forget the name of the company, but like the little ones here, the metal ones, um, you get quite a lot in a bag, and it was like three ninety nine. it's in like the jewelry section. Um, I'll see if I can find a bag with the name on and put it in the description box below. I also used the Tim Holtz feet um, for the bottom of the box. I think they are beautiful. So, um, so yeah. And then the idea for the clock, because I was just going to do it inside, but the idea for the clock as I did it on the inside and then I thought well I'll use the other half on this side just to give it like a little bit of a you know kind of off 
and off look uh, was by Song Lee she's on YouTube her channel is um, Song Lee um, and she did she altered something and she kind of used a clock piece and did half on and half off another section I thought that was amazing so thank you Song for that um, so yeah all kinds of little bits and pieces um, he's in the Air Force so I use these little planes which are by um, oh, Craft Ink, I believe. And she works with horses, so I have this little um, charm that was on a bracelet of mine. So I kind of tried to, you know, kind of meld them together kind of thing. You know, the newlyweds, and I just thought it was a, a nice little gift to give them to, you know, so that's it basically. I just kind of wanted to share that with you. If you have any questions, um, leave me a comment. I will answer you. I know there's a lot of things going on with this Google and um, YouTube at the moment. So if I do get your comment, I will reply. Um, but if you see anything on there that you, you know, you'd like to know how I did it or whatever. I mean, these little swirls the flourishes at the back are actually the foam um, and what I did was I gessoed them and then sprayed so they come up really really cool you've got to be careful with the heat tool though because um, with them being foam they do kind of start to uh, burn and melt but it gives it a really cool look so um, so yeah any questions um, please feel free to leave me a comment um, I will get back to you. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on at the moment. I'm actually packing up and moving back to England because my mom's not doing too good. So my family kind of needs me there right now. Um, and the only things that I'm taking are all my my craft room basically. Um, so so yeah, it, it's it's kind of crazy. And I don't want to pack everything too soon because obviously this keeps me sane. So. Um, so that's it but please um, any comments you know I'll try and get back to you if I get your comment um, and I'll be sharing another project soon I uh, saw another YouTube um, channel her name is Gabrielle Polacco and she did this amazing um, mixed media journal cover so I thought right I'd like my own and I'm always making things for other people and I thought okay I'm going to try and make something for myself so I did and I'll be sharing that um, within the next week so look out for that one um, but like I say everything that I've used um, will be in the description box below so check it out and thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon